Hey, what's up guys? So we're here gonna start another motor build. Uh, I didn't wanna bore you with all the taking apart stuff. So we just finished taking this apart. This is gonna be a high output 103. We're gonna use some Screaming Eagle 585 cams, Screaming Eagle push rods, push rod tubes, Screaming Eagle cam plate, high volume oil pump. So we're gonna go ahead and change the cam bearings as well. I'm gonna go ahead and try to show you some of the smaller details um, on this motor. You can clearly see it was running real lean. The, the tuning, they had a Screaming Eagle tuner, which we're gonna remove and we're gonna use a Power Vision and tune it with a Power Vision license. So what we're gonna do is show you how the heads were running real lean and how the cylinders got real hot and the reason why I did that. So let me get started and kind of show you guys the details before we start taking this motor, uh, cleaning all the threads and stuff like that. So let me get started on that. Oh, this thing had real bad blow by. We originally thought it was the breather assemblies they actually didn't look in bad shape, so then we continued taking it apart. Uh, check the pistons. So you can tell the pistons are, you know, not not too bad. Um, not real bad scrapes. So then we continue doing our investigation. And let me show you the cylinders. So the cylinders, you can tell how they're real real shiny real glossy there they're just it's almost like a mirror you can see a little bit of blue see how this that's that's indication of the cylinder getting hot you can see right there i mean gods so this thing was running really hot and uh so that's another thing we're going to end up putting the the tor torque plates on the cylinders and do a quick hone trying to get some cross edges back on there and get the, the rings to reseal again. So let me show you the oil pump now. So on we had just recently posted a, a video on oil pump and uh, in case you guys did not watch that video I just want to show you guys real quick how this is a stock one that's a Screaming Eagle one. See the gears there's a lot of difference in the gears. So bigger gears, oil gets smashed in between these gears and it creates bigger, more flow, helping the motor cool, cool down and run better. Of course, the cam plate, this is a superior cam plate. This one gives tweaks, this one has bushings. If you guys get a chance, go back and watch some of the videos that we posted on the oil pump and cam plate. But yeah, we're getting ready to start cleaning this up. Take the other cylinder off and continue with this build. All right, so I want to show you guys, this is the chamber of the heads. I just wanted to show you just so you can see all the oil, how crusted it is in there. This one is your exhaust valve. Look how white it is from the, the bike running so lean. So hot, it was running really, really hot. Here's the top of the pistons. You see how crusty they are where it was just blowing oil right by the rings. It wasn't sealing. So we're going to go ahead and get everything all cleaned up. Then we're going to go ahead and CC the chamber so we can know what compression ratio. And we're going to end up decking the heads a little bit. So let me get started. All right, guys, we just finished doing the CC on the chamber. So we ended up with 85 CC. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and uh, put our cylinder plates on the cylinders and go ahead and hone our cylinders, install the cylinders, and then we'll check our piston and cylinder deck height so we can get the correct compression ratio we're trying to get. I'm trying to get somewhere on 11, a little bit over 11 to one compression. All right, so we have our cylinders already honed. Our pistons clean. Our rings have been uh, indexed the way we want them. So we're checking the deck height right now, and the uh, piston is in the whole five thousands, which is really not bad for stock 103. So the next step is to go ahead and deck the head to try to get the compression ratio we're looking for. So let me get it set up and uh, start doing that. All right, so we already have the chamber all cleaned up. We cleaned up the valves, cut the valve 
45 degrees. We cut the valve seats 45 degrees. You can tell that it has a 30 degree, a 45, and a 60 degree, which is your three angle valve. We already decked it so we can get our compression ratio that we're looking for. Uh, I'm going to take this chance now to show you guys the difference on the valve springs. So the shorter one, this one right here, is a stock valve spring. The other one is a Screaming Eagle uh, valve spring. You can see how it's a little bit taller. It's also a little bit wider compared to the stock one. The top, top collars, the Screaming Eagle one on the left is also a little bit, a little bit wider compared to the factory one. They're a little bit taller so you can get a little bit more higher lift on these. So I'm going to go ahead and finish assembling this other head. Start getting ready to assemble the heads on the motor. And then we're going to continue with our cam section. New cam bearings are installed. Have lube, assembly lube, oil pumps installed. Assembly lube. Screaming Eagle 585 cams are on the cam plate. Have some lube already. We're going to put our new oil rings on. And then assemble the cam plate. You saw our lifters, lifter blocks. And then we'll start reassembling the rocker boxes. So now what we're going to do is going to go ahead and get ready to install our fueling lifters. So we're replacing the stock lifters with these. The stock lifters were pretty worn here on the hardened part of the roller. And also since we're going with taller valve springs i think it would be best to put the lifter that's going to be able to take that spring pressure so i'm going to go ahead and get ready to install these put the covers on and then continue from there at this time i also want to say we checked our clearance our uh, cam clearance is all good so we're going to go ahead and put the cover on that as well we have the screaming eagle push rods push rod tubes already installed adjusted cam covers on i want to show you guys the 58 millimeter throttle body we're getting ready to install. So here we have the stock throttle body. And then here we have the new throttle body we're gonna install, which is a 58 millimeter. I kind of washed it up a little bit and um, I normally like to clean up some of the bad casting marks. So I cleaned up the casting mark there and cleaned up some of the casting marks here. Um, that's why it's a little dirty, I need to wash it again. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and move all the sensors and put the bigger injectors on. But yeah, you can see how that throttle body is way bigger than that one. So better flow, better air, better fuel, more power. Alright guys, so we just finished doing the dyno tuning on Peacock's motorcycle. So this is a 103, 585 cams. So we uh, ended up using, of course, our new tuning software and stuff. The clutches were slipping really bad right around between 5 to 5200. Actually, you can see it in the video previous to this. And so I basically, we ended up with max horsepower at 101. 0.16 and then max torque was 110.45 max torque um, We could probably get a little bit more out of it and do a little bit more tuning But I don't want to damage the clutches. So right now they're slipping really bad I thought instead of trying to put more stress on the motorcycle and on the clutches we will stop there So we're happy with the results 11116 and 110 torque so we'll see, uh, get it down on the road and see what it does. And we continue from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We've got more videos coming soon.